I'm Lily. And I'm Tegan. And this is NAC News. Kelsey's big home run last night? Yeah, the Lady Cardinals are having a great season. Kira and Electra have a story about this weekend. Last week was homecoming week at North Andrew. The North Andrew Cardinal boys had a rough time in their football game. They lost the game 50-12. to In the process of it all, we have two injured players. Prayers to the boys for a speedy recovery. On Monday, we had no school due to teacher in service, but we did have a junior high football game. The boys lost their game to Lebon 20-38. to On Tuesday... The high school girls lost their softball game 2-4. to four. Wednesday, we had a secret grandparents meeting for FCCLA, and the theme was carnival. Thursday, there is a softball game. The junior high softball girls will be playing mid Buchanan at home. The game will start at 4 o'clock. Friday at 7 o'clock, we will be playing King City at home. Come out and support our team. This Saturday, there is a band competition in Clorinda, and there is also a cross-country meet in Savannah. Next week is going to be a very busy week for us Cardinals. The junior high football boys and the softball girls are starting off the long week with a football game at home, playing against Worth County, and the softball girls are going away to play West Platte. On Tuesday, the high school and junior high girls have games the high school girls will be play in Stewartsville, and the junior high girls play in Osborne. There's also a high school cross-country meet in Mound City. On Wednesday, there's a junior high cross-country meet at St. Joe Christian, and that same night, there's a Scholar Bowl meet. The high school and junior high girls will have a game against DeCab, and at the end of the week, we'll be playing football in Princeton. How do you think the softball tournament is going to go for you girls this weekend? Um, I think there's going to be a lot of tough competition, but overall, I think we're going to do good. Thank you. What? Red 40? I heard Red 40 was bad for you. Maddie and Tucker have a story about that. Red Dye 40 is a synthetic food dye common in dairy products, sweets, and beverages. Many people don't know how harmful it is. For most people, it is safe to consume and poses no health risk, but some may be allergic to it. Red Dye 40 is one of the most widely used food dyes, as well as one of the most controversial. Red 40 has been banned in the United Kingdom and Switzerland due to health concerns. The dye is thought to be linked to allergies, migraines, and mental disorders in children. Red 40 is in many things that people eat and don't even know about it. It's in many cereals like Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops, Captain Crunch, and Lucky Charms. Many drinks such as Powerade, V8, Fruit Punch, Gatorade, and many more drinks such as Pop. There are also many chips that have Red 40, such as Doritos, Hot Cheetos, and many more. Many snacks, such as pudding, fruit roll-ups, Pop-Tarts, Welch's gummies, Red Cake, Twizzlers, Toaster Strudels, Applesauce, and many more things. When you look at the ingredients, you can look on the back and see if it has Red 40 on the back of it. Many people are taking Red 40 out of their diet, and people are saying that it has positive effects on their health. Next time, before you buy, check the label to find out if it has Red 40. Hey, who's your secret grandparent? I don't know, it's a secret. I should and Kirsten have a story about the secret grandparent program. Secret grandparents have been going on for multiple years. It is a great program FCCLA does. It is where multiple students in FCCLA make or buy gifts for their secret grandparent. The students have a certain date to turn these gifts in. It can be on holidays, birthdays, or anniversaries. On September 23rd, there was a secret grandparents meeting at 6 o'clock. This year, our theme for secret grandparents was carnival. 
Wednesday night was full of games and many people. The night went amazing. There were games that included a ring toss, fish bowl, spin the wheel, a duck game, can toss, and bingo. You got three red tickets and two white tickets. The red tickets were for ring toss. You could have won a two liter soda. A can toss where all you did was try to knock down the cans. The duck game where you pick a duck and whatever is on the bottom of it is what you got. For the white tickets, you could use them up on fishbowl, which is where you tossed a ball into a fishbowl and if the ball made it in, then you would get a fish that never died. And the other game was spin the wheel, which is just a game of luck. We did bingo. There was a whole table of prizes you could win if you got a bingo. The game went to a blackout. The night was full of food, fun and food. But at the end of the night, there was a raffle drawing where you could win more prizes. What was your favorite part about Secret Grandparents? I really liked the carnival theme this year. It was great. All the games and the bingo and the competition, it was awesome. How long have you been doing this or is this your first year? This is my second year. What is your favorite part about the Secret Grandparents meeting? The first one or when we finally get to meet the grandchild either or <laughs> oh I really just like um, the fact that we don't know who it is until the very end so it really is a surprise the guessing and never quite getting it right is fun is there anyone in particular do you hope to get for oh no I'd be glad for anybody I really <laughs> would okay that's all I heard Taylor Swift's back in her red era yeah, I heard all about her new lover. Yeah, it's turning into a great love story. <laughs> Trinity and Mason have a story on Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. News has been booming this week about a new celebrity couple. If you haven't heard, then this is the story for you. This new couple is Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. They're two very famous people, but for two very different things. Travis Kelsey is a professional football player for the Kansas City Chiefs, who many consider one of the best players today. Taylor Swift is a famous singer who many obsess over and many despise. This couple started off when Travis Kelsey tried giving Taylor his number after she performed at Arrowhead Stadium. Travis's brother also confirmed rumors that Travis and Taylor were a thing on their podcast. Taylor was also spotted at one of Travis Kelsey's football games. Not only that, but she was sitting with Travis's mother in a booth. If that's not enough proof for you, after the game, Travis and Taylor were spotted walking out together. They were so deep in conversation that they probably didn't even know where they were going. We received some great answers to our questions after e interviewing one of our fellow classmates. First off, when asked if he even heard of this new couple, he said yes, but he didn't care much about it. We asked a couple good couple's names for them anyway, and he said T.T. Swizzle. Not exactly what I was thinking, but good enough. Finally, asked if he thought this couple was going to work out well, and he stated that she would probably just make another song about him. I'm Lily. I'm Tegan. Have a great week, Cardinals.